So, good morning children. How are you? Now it's time to start with the next part of our chapter that is the crop production and management. Till now we have discussed about the seven basic steps hmm, of uh, crop cultivation that is <coughs> preparation of soil, then sowing, then adding manure and fertilizers, then irrigation, then protection from the weeds, then harvesting and then at the last the storage of the harvested crop. Yes. Today we will start with the second point. Huh? We have done with the preparation of soil, why it is required and how the preparation of soil is done. Preparation of soil is required because the unwanted things, unwanted things like the unwanted um, plants, the crumbs, the hard pieces of the soil, the stones, they are needed to be removed from the field. So this is what the preparation of soil process is considered. So, in that process, it is also required. Why? Because the natural fertilizers in the soil that the microbes, the microorganisms, the earthworms can fertile easily and rapidly. Now, it's time to discuss the second point that is. So, before going to the sowing, let's uh, discuss about the tools which are required for the preparation of soil. Hmm? Tools. Plow. Hoe. And. Cultivator. So as we have read already in the last video that the tilling and uh, the preparation of soil or the tilling is also known as plowing. Hmm? The process of plowing. Hmm? is done by plow. What is plow? It is a kind of uh, wooden or the iron made equipment which is drawn by the bulls. Hmm? It, is a, uh, it is the equipment which is used in the preparation of soil even in the it is used in the sowing process also. Hmm? And what is hoe? Hoe is the equipment which is used in the process of taking out the weeds, taking out the unwanted plants from the field. Okay. And then cultivator. Cultivator is the new kind of uh, process of plowing. Hmm? In this um, pattern of uh, plowing, the equipment is added to the tractor. It is drawn by the tractor. That's why it is different from the conventional mode of plowing, which is done by the plow. So cultivator, it is drawn by the tractor. Uh, the equipment is joined with the tractor, and then the process has been done. Okay. Now. It comes to the second point that is sowing. The foremost thing, the very first thing that, that is uh, to be taken very, very consciously by the farmers is the selection of seeds. They select the seeds which are of good quality, which are of high yielding quality fresh and the healthy seeds huh then how they will choose how they will uh, get the good quality of seeds we can understand this process by a simple activity what we have to do we have to collect um, some water in a bowl or in a beaker half filled with the water take a bowl or a beaker take a handful of uh, grains uh, like wheat hmm? put them into the water and stir it wait for a while you will see that some of the seeds are floating on the layer of the water and some have gone un under the basement of the bowl or the beaker. So the good quality seeds are heavy. Huh? So they settle down. The damaged seeds are hollow. So that's why they are floating on the layer of the water. So this is a simple activity which is done by the farmers to select the quality of seeds. Hmm? So the very first task to be done in the activity of sowing is the selection of seeds. Hmm? Then when they select the, seed, the seeds, the good quality of seeds, now it comes about the tools which are required for the process of sowing like the plow, the hoe, the cultivator, they are required for the process of preparation of soil. Hmm? So there are another tools which are required for the process of sowing. 
so there are two kinds of tools like one is the traditional pattern of tool and the modern pattern of tool in the traditional pattern of tool huh? the traditional pattern of tool it is a kind of funnel shaped huh? it is a kind of funnel shaped tool which is then divided into certain pipes with sharp end ends hmm? it's a kind of like this now they are divided into small pipes like structure okay and they are of sharp edges they are of sharp edges so what is done this equipment is added to the plow again and the farmer used to put down the pour down the seeds into this funnel and these seeds are then transferred to these different different pipes and these pierced ends hmm, these pierced ends are drawn into the uh, under the soil and the seeds are placed at a particular uh, depth hmm. so this is the pattern which is called the traditional pattern then the modern pattern of sowing comes into practice that is seed drill hmm? seed drill seed drill is the modern pattern of sowing the seeds this is also a kind of equipment which is added which is joined by the tractor and the seeds are put into this uh, drill and then they are just the process of uh, plowing the tractor was just the process of plowing or we can say the cultivator the, the tractor moves into the field and at a particular distance on a uniform distance the seeds are just get into the particular depth of the soil so it, in this process of sowing two three things are very 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 advantageous like the damage caused by the birds is lesser in this technique then it is a, a kind of technique of sowing the seeds in which the labor and the time consumption is very less and the very most important thing is in this process of uh, sowing the seeds like the, by the seed drill the overlapping of the seeds because of the uh, ununiform distance hmm? the overlapping of the seeds are not possible which is in, possible in the traditional uh, process of sowing the seeds right now comes the next point like which is adding manure and fertilizers adding manure and fertilizers the extra nutrient which is required by the soil the natural nutrients or the minerals which are in the soil that is very much important for the cultivation process but when we need to add some more nutrients hmm, when we need to add some more uh, essential minerals to the soil some substance is required to add it to be added into the soil these substances are called the manure and the fertilizers right so in the next video we will study about how the manures and the fertilizers are used what are the processes uh, we will study in the next video thank you so much